Hi there, good morning. This is Darjeeling. I just spent two days here. I am packed up as you can see, heading out for the day. It is about 11.30. Today is February 4th. So, I am not going to Gangtok Sikkim, which was going to be my destination today because there is a strike happening, apparently, starting today and going through tomorrow. So bummer timing for my plans, but no huge deal. Instead, I'm going to go to Kalimpong, which is another town, probably kind of similar to Darjeeling here, about two hours away here in West Bengal State in the Himalayas. I don't know how I'm getting there yet. That is the mission right now. So, in this video I'm going to show you what it is like to travel in the Himalayas, one of the ultimate adventure experiences. And also oftentimes a challenging one. Especially in the middle of winter. It is Chilly-ish, but uh, not bad, especially during the day. It gets a little cold at night. I was lucky to have a heater in the room where I stayed the past two nights here in Darjeeling. There was an extra charge of 500 rupees, which is $6, on top of the $25 room fee. So it was actually $31 per night with the uh, heating charge. And as you can see, some pretty cool views. There will be much better views of the Himalayas right out there. You can apparently see Mount Everest from certain points around here, including Tiger Hill, which I hiked up yesterday, but did not luck out and get to see the Himalayan peaks. So uh, anyways, time to get this mission underway. The first thing is actually to get a little food. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I think that I'm going to stop at a shop up here that had really good samosas. Hello. And uh, get some snacks before I hop in a vehicle and drive on winding roads for two hours. I will probably end up in one of those. Okay, two, two, two. Okay, so uh, that was uh, really the ultimate breakfast to have before getting in a vehicle and going on winding mountain roads. You don't want to have sweets. At least you don't want to have a stomach full of sweets going on these winding roads. So uh, I just had the uh, omelet and two samosas and then I have the box of the sweets in here. Might have a little bit of that, but uh, potatoes and eggs is really the best thing for uh, winding road adventures. So Kalimpong is that way. You can actually get there going that way as well, but it is longer. The downtown of Darjeeling is that way where the bus stand is and so my uh, little quandary here is whether to head back that way about uh, two kilometers to the center of Darjeeling or to just get going in the right direction get to Goom which I showed in a previous video and from there then I should probably be able to catch a uh, jeep or bus or whatever and so I think that I'm going to do that rather than backtracking let's give this one a try No pull up 
it can be hard to tell what's a private vehicle and what's a public one. So you just kind of try to flag them all down and see what stops and where they're going. It should be easy enough to get to Goom and then Kalimpong will be possibly a little bit more challenging as far as when one is going because it is farther distance. So I saw the train go past while I was sitting there having breakfast. Here are the train tracks for the toy train it's called. A small little two-carriage train which goes to Goom and then beyond that. I think all the way down into the plains getting out of the mountains and then you can catch a regular train from uh, down out of the mountains here to get to all parts of India. Hello. You are going to Kalimpong? To Kalimpong, yes. You are going to Kalimpong or? Uh, no. no? Going that way, but not Kalimpong. Okay. But uh, same, same Jeep? Same Jeep. Yeah, okay, cool. And so just up here? Yes. Which is your town? Uh, we say it like uh, Sixth Mal. Sixth Mal. Sixth Mal, okay. This is the highest train station in India, yes? Yes. Here in Agum. Lord Jehovah. Himalayan traffic jam. So we're walking over to where we will get the uh, next Jeep going to Kalimpong. Some of you might recognize that sign from the last video. Kalimpong, that is where I'm trying to get to. I have a hotel there reserved for the next two nights. And here we are once again in downtown Goom from where you can hike up to the top of Tiger Hill, which I did yesterday and highly recommend. But it is a different mission today. Got to head about two hours that way. Maybe these guys? Huh? Maybe this one? No. No? To the left? Yes. Okay. This is called Bodingo. Okay. That's the way to Tiger Hill. You just walk on up there. About an hour's walk or so from here. And you get good views of the Himalayas if you're lucky. I haven't been lucky yet. Too many clouds, too much haze. Just waiting here? I see, okay. So it's like a uh, jeep coming from Darjeeling or? It's from Darjeeling. Ah, so maybe it's full. Sometimes they're full, yeah, okay. Maybe I should put this in the back? Here, okay.
Yeah, he's here, but he's going more. Yes, he's going to Sikkim. Sikkim. Ah, okay. So you'll go to uh, Kalimpong, Kalimpong, or the closest town to Kalimpong. Town no. It's not going to Kalimpong. Okay, but but uh, nearby town, and then I will. Yeah. Okay. Great. Are you going with him? Yes, if it's okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Welcome to Kalampong. This is not the town, but this is the junction. That way is Gangtok, Sikkim. This way, Kalampong, and I think that maybe this guy. Kalampong? Yeah. He's going there, and it is quite close. Already on. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> and you? Which uh, city? Rish Vinka. Kalapong or? Rish Vinka. Yeah, we go Rish Vinka. Uh, which uh, city? City name? The yeah, city name is Rish Vinka. Oh, there's a city named West Vinka. Oh, okay. There's 39 cities in India. 39 cities in India. Uh, And 
Mission accomplished. Welcome to Kalimpong. It's about quarter to three in the afternoon. I kind of lost track of uh, when exactly I first started trying to get the ride back in Darjeeling, but I guess it was basically about three hours or so in total with all the waiting and everything. So, the first ride from Darjeeling to Gum cost me 30 rupees. That is 37 cents. The last ride there, another short ride, was 70 rupees or about 80 cents. The middle ride there, the second one, I don't really know exactly what that was. If that was a taxi driver or just a guy driving home to Gangtok or what. I never really figured out what was going on with that ride there, but uh, I never asked him the price and he never mentioned a price. I gave him 500 rupees. That is six bucks. Just to be a little generous and because I really appreciated him getting me out of Goom when it was looking like it could take a while because there really weren't very many uh, Jeeps coming along and if they did, then they were likely to be full. Also, that sort of turned into a private taxi ride because I was the only guy in there for much of the ride. So, probably overly generous, but uh, six bucks, come on. And so, the way that I found out about Kalimpong is kind of cool. It was that sign back in Goom. When I was driving in the taxi from Bagdogra, where I flew into from Kolkata, and then caught a taxi from there to Darjeeling, I guess uh, two days ago, we came through Goom and I saw the sign for Kalimpong, and I just liked the name. It just sounded cool. So I took note of it and then looked it up online later and saw that it was a full-on real town and a tourist destination and it looked quite nice. And also it is right on the way to Gangtok, so it all around made sense to stop here, especially because of the strike going on, supposedly, in Sikkim today and tomorrow. But regardless, it actually makes more sense for me to stop here on the way because I will likely make it a loop and not come back this way. I had wanted to stop in Kalimpong and was going to maybe do it like on the way back, but I think that I will actually continue around within Sikkim and then get back to Darjeeling another way. So this all around makes sense. That clock is not correct. It is 2.48. I can't even tell what that's trying to say. 8... 8.10. Yeah. 8.09. I think it must not be working. Okay, so I do have phone service now. My uh, hotel is about a 10 minute walk away from here. Maybe it's down here. Let's uh, check the phone. This is a great scene here, though. I really like the looks of this town. This is the real deal. Seems like there's going to be plenty to do tomorrow because I'm here for two nights. All right, uh, let's see. It might be a left. Or maybe it's uh, straight ahead. Yes, okay. This is the Himalayas! Not the high Himalayas, of course. We actually went downhill a lot from Darjeeling, got down to that river, and then came back up a lot on that last ride there. It was all uphill. But I think that we're lower in elevation than Darjeeling was. It's a little bit warmer. So it was a bit of a trek to get up to my hotel, but it was definitely worth it, both for the room and the view. 28 bucks a night or 26 euros. You can see the town is down there a ways. That is looking east towards Bhutan. 
can barely see the ridges out there. Hopefully some uh, better views, clearer skies in the morning. If you're curious about the Wi-Fi speeds, not amazing, but not terrible either. 5.1 megabits per second and 21 megabits per second upload. That is actually really good. So uh, it was definitely an interesting day of traveling here in the Himalayas. Not uh, too rough, but uh, still, you know, fairly challenging for being just like three hours of actual traveling there, but uh, multiple car rides, waiting, kind of intense, uh, you know, roads, the uh, winding mountain roads there and everything. So just a little taste of what it is really like to travel in the Himalayas, especially without a reservation of any kind. You can just do it, especially in India. There is never really a transportation problem in India. Wherever you are, you will be able to find a ride of some sort, taxi, bus, rickshaw, jeep, whatever. And so uh, that is gonna do it for today. I'm staying here for two nights, so more coming from Okay, where am I? Kalimpong. See ya.